mentioned earlier, the Pfizer COVID vaccine that's arrived in Colorado has to be shipped and stored at extremely cold temperatures. And its effectiveness also depends on keeping it cold during delivery. CBS4's Rick Salinger live on that story tonight. So, Rick, how do they do it? Two words, Jim, that you may have heard used together but don't know very much about. Dry ice, something now very much in demand. You might call this liquid gold. Dry ice is what greases the system to deliver the COVID Pfizer vaccine from the manufacturer to your arm. It comes in three different types. We've got our pellets, which are basically just mini packing peanuts of dry ice. And then we've got 10 pound blocks and five pound blocks. City ice is one of the places in Denver where dry ice is available. The Pfizer vaccine must be stored at super sub-zero temperatures. By that, we're talking down to minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 10 days, then in hospital refrigerators at plus 17 degrees. Now, what I'm about to tell you may sound contradictory, but this stuff is so cold, if I didn't have these gloves on right now, it would burn me. It's carbon dioxide plus oxygen, a gas at normal temperatures, which is then turned into a liquid, then pressurized in the dry ice. We got busy when the COVID hit and people started uh, changing their behaviors and shopping online more. Dry ice is normally used for things such as removing skin imperfections to making ice cream. Now it is front and center in helping save lives. City Ice wanted us to pass along to hospitals that they have plenty of dry ice available and want to make it for their use in storing vaccines. In Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. All right, Rick, thank you. Come